Good morning, students. In the last class, we have started our first chapter. What is democracy? Why democracy? We have looked upon the portion. What is democracy? Democracy is a form of government in which the rulers are elected by the people. From this simple definition, what did you understand? In a democratic government, the representative or the leader of the country is elected by the people. They are chosen by the people. After which, we have also seen the features of democracy and how it is different from non-democratic countries, with some examples. Today, we will discuss our next section, that is, why democracy. Here in this part again, a debate broke out between the students when the teacher asked if they thought democracy was the best form of government. After understanding the definition and features of democracy. Read this debate and compare yourself with whom your thinking is alike. Here, some have opinion that democracy is better. But if democracy is better, then why after seven decades of democracy, there is so much poverty? And there are corruption, instability, chaos and hypocrisy. Leaders also fight among themselves and they do not care enough for the country. Some say if there was a strong leader who would not care about elections and parliament and that also one person having all the power might remove corruption and poverty from the country. But this seems to be a dictatorship. Others also say that it is not fair to compare a democracy with dictatorship. Dictators in real life are the most corrupt, selfish and brutal. So we should compare an ideal with an ideal, the real with the real. Now the same question go goes to you. Is democracy the best form of government? From the debate, you can see they have freedom to express their feelings. Do you think in a democratic country they will have the same freedom? It is said democracy is the best form of government, but it also has some good and bad points. Now, based on those debates, let's see what are the arguments against democracy and for democracy. First, let us see the demerits, are, that is, arguments against democracy. First is, leaders keep changing in a democracy. This leads to instability. Here, leaders keep changing in five years after election, be it prime minister, president, chief minister, council of ministers, and others. Different people have different mindset. So if one leader who is elected has plans, policy on growth of the nation, and it has been initiated during his term, but in the next election, when the other leader takes upon the charge, the plan initiated may not be taken forward. He might have another plan, which will also take more time and hence leading to instability. One plan or idea is not stable due to the changing of leaders. The second point, that is, democracy is all about political competition and power play. There is no scope for morality. There are many political parties such as BJP, Congress, Am Admi, NPP, that is National People's Party, and Trinamool Congress, and many others. One or the other wants to have the power. They are always in competition with each other, and they criticize and try to bring the others down. They lost the morality here in order to win and gain the power. Now, in the third point, that is so many people have to be consulted in a democracy that it leads to delays. Here, to pass any bill in the parliament or any other proposal related to the growth of nation, it takes a lot of time and have to be consulted to many people to come to final decision. It goes from one office to another department and then to another department. Sometimes it also gets rejected or it gets delayed. Fourth, that is, elected leaders do not know the best interest of the people. It leads to bad decisions. 
Sometimes the choice of people whom they elected may lack in knowledge and therefore not know the best interest and needs of the people. They might take bad decisions that, that is not in the favor of people. How does this take place? It can take place by choosing a wrong leader. It can be seen and understood from the fifth point that is democracy leads to corruption for it is based on electoral competition. During the time of campaigning for election, many leaders are ready to win votes by malpractices and fraud. They spend lots of money to gain votes, leading to corruption. And the people, because of money, they vote to the wrong one. Now, in the sixth and the last point, that is, ordinary people don't know what is good for them. They should not decide anything. Ordinary people here refers to the people who are poor and illiterate. They are drawn easily by the false promises made to them. Their innocence are taken advantage of and also some are drawn by the money they are given which is illegal. From this act, they make wrong choice and do not understand what is good for them. So from these negative points, we may feel democracy may not be the best form of government, but there are also positive side of democracy, which we will discuss now. So after the arguments against democracy, we will come to arguments for democracy. What do you think will be merits of democracy? As we live in a democratic country, you must have some idea on the good points of democracy. Or at least you can point out one or two. Let us first understand from one example from the story of China's famine. Famine is a situation of scarcity of food. During the year 19. 58 to 1961, China had the worst recorded famine in world history. It killed about 3 crore people. India's economic condition was not as good as China. During 1960s, India also had famine, but it was not as bad as China's condition. What could have been the reason behind this? Economists think that it was because of different government policies in the two countries. In a democratic form of government, government has to respond to the needs of people as they are elected by the people. Non-democratic government may respond to the need of people but it depends on the wish of the ruler. If the ruler does not want to, they don't have to act according to the wishes of the people. So the first merit is a democratic government is a better government because it is a more accountable form of government. Here a government has to explain or give reply to its action to the people which makes it more accountable and this is one reason why democracy is a better form of government. Second point is Democracy improves the quality of decision-making. Democracy is based on consultation and discussion. A matter is consulted by many, also discussed and debated. It takes time to come to a final decision, but by doing so, the mistakes and errors are pointed out and best opinions are collected and finally comes to a conclusion with a careful and thoughtful decision. This improves the quality of decision making collectively. Now in the third point that is democracy provides a method to deal with differences and conflicts. Every society has differences of opinions and interests. In a diverse country like India, there are people that belong to different regions, speak different languages, practice different religions and have different castes. These differences among people often create conflicts such as discrimination, thought criticism, religious conflicts, etc. Democracy objects such conflicts and provides the solution to these problems so that different groups can live with one another peacefully. 
these three points that we have discussed were about the effects of democracy on the quality of government and social life. The fourth point is very important. Democracy is about what it does to the citizen. Therefore, democracy enhances the dignity of citizens. All the poor, rich, least educated, the educated and irrespective of caste, color, religion, etc., they are equal before the law. Democracy is based on the principle of political equality. Here, the value of the citizen is enhanced. In the fifth and last point of argument, democracy is better than other forms of government because it allows us to correct its own mistakes. Unlike non-democratic form of government where the people have no choice to change its leader, however the leader is, in democracy people have chance to correct its own mistakes. They can change the leader in the next election or the rulers have to change their decision or the way they are ruling. After discussing the, fi uh, the five arguments, do you agree that democracy is a better form of government? Why is it considered so? It offers better chances of a good decision. It is likely to respect people's own wishes and allows different kinds of people to live together. Though there are some mistakes and errors, it gives a chance to correct its mistake in order to improvise. That is why democracy is considered the best form of government. Now let us come to the third and final section of the lesson, broader meanings of democracy. After understanding and knowing what democracy is, how would you explain its meaning? Okay, the most common form that democracy takes in our time is that of a representative democracy. Today, the leaders that are ruling in our country, they are our representative. They represent its people. In the countries we call democracy, all the people do not rule. Why? Why all the people cannot rule? All the people of the country cannot rule because modern democracy involves such a large number of people that it is physically impossible for them to sit together and take a collective decision. Just imagine, is it possible for all the population of a country to fit in a room no, never. It is impossible. Even if they could, or even some, the citizen does not have the time, the desire, or the skills to take part in all the decisions. So a majority of people, those who are elected as their representative, they rule on behalf of all the people. So that was a minimal understanding of democracy. Now let us look into the broader meaning. Here in these statements, democracy is used for a family, school and some kind of organization. It indicates the method of taking decisions, a democratic decision that involves consultation and consent. Democracy is also a principle that can be applied to any sphere of life. Life as in government, family or any organization. Everyone has a right to point out an opinion. Democracy sometimes is used by us people to set up an ideal standard. Ideal in sense as, as in this statement, democracy would come only when no one goes hungry and every citizen must be able to play equal role in decision making. It enables us to judge an existing democracy and identify its weaknesses. One way of decision making can be where all the people can sit together and take decisions directly. It applies in a village as Gram Sabha. No country is perfect democracy, but if we the people put an effort in contributing ideas in decision making and abide by its rule, there can be difference made in the growth of nation. In a non-democratic government, it does not require citizens' participation, whereas democracy depends on active political participation by all the citizens. So this is the end of this chapter. I hope you have understood the lesson. Thank you.